Uh, my name is Simon Moy. I'm a Catholic by faith. I usually celebrate my mass at St. Peter's Catholic Lanet here at Kratina. Uh, the main issue that uh, brought us today here was to celebrate our marriages. It takes time or it takes a lot of time and even thinking about marriage. As we all understand that uh, marriage is a union that has been blessed by God and that that marriage is not something that you can be able to terminate it at the end of the day. The reason why we congregated to this place is to be able to appreciate the marriages that are still standing in Christ. This place where we are in now, it is called Christian Family Formation Center where we teach and train couples, those who are already in marriage and also those who are intending to, be, to, to wed or to get into marriage, how to live. Because we understand the challenges that are posed with marriages. You go into marriage thinking that it's a short leave, but after some time you realize that you went to a wrong institution. But I, give, I want to give up to those people who are intending to get married and also those who are planning that marriage is the best thing that you can be able to have in life. We are very happy organizing this function today here at Section 58 Christian Family Formation Center, which is a center where we do transformation of the couples and those who are in marriage. We have been able to uh, host a number of couples who have been trained, who have undergone some teachings and also some trainings on how to live as husband and wife. Another thing is that as we are continuing rolling our programs, we intend to reach to all other religions, all other denominations. It is not only strictly or that is strictly to a specific, uh, Chris, uh, specific religion. Uh, marriage happens to both Christian, the Muslims, the Hindus, and all those who are also not believing in God. And we are calling them, we are calling upon them that they be able to embrace the issue of marriage and be able to see that at the end of the day, when they depend on God about their marriage, they will be able to stand. As I also continue by saying that this organization has been started by one family, that is Mr. and Mrs. Madenge, who was able, who are the first trainers, the first people who came up with the issue of marriage. The purpose for it is to be able to see the Christian family, the Christian marriages, are standing and that they are becoming more and more strong. Some of those people who have undergone this marriage, some of the friends, my classmate, my former classmate in this class, were Stephen Chichir and Penina. We have also Peter, we also have Robert and Beatrice. They have been able to be transformed in this marriage and right now they have a testimony that really going into marriage without knowing where you are going to, it's a turmoil, it's a threat. But when you know the reason why you are in marriage, then you can be able to raise up and say, really, I, be, I know the fruit and the best, uh, the best thing that is caused with marriage. I land there by saying that I invite each and everyone that who want to be interested, that they can be able to visit us and be able to at least be able to do some booking with us so that we can be able to help them and make their marriage long lasting. Thank you very much and God bless you.
kawa Aliye tufanya tuwe dugu Diye Yesu mungu yetu Rongi yote na hazia Kozi yetu ziondoke Tukipenda, tukipenda Wenze tu kati yetu mungu yupo Tukipenda, tukipenda Wenze tu kati yetu mungu yupo
Kwa dance kidogo kabla wajaribu. Haya, twende twende.
Christian Family Formation Center ni mahala ambapo wataalamu wandoa husaidia familia kupitia mashauri ya kitaalamu ili kujenga familia kwa misingi ya Kikristo kuwapa wanandoa ufahamu kuhusu mpangilio wa Mungu kwenye ndoa kufanya familia kuishi kwa umoja furaha na utakatifu kutoa mafunzo kwa wachumba kabla kukabidhiwa cheti cha ndoa kusaidia wanandoa kubaini malengo yao katika ndoa kupatanisha wanandoa waliotengana na pia na pia kufikia wanandoa kote ulimwenguni na habari njema ya mpango wa Mungu kwa ndoa. Tujenge familia zetu kwa misingi ya Kikristo. Tutembelee Family Formation Center, tukupe mafunzo ya kitaalam ya jinsi ya kuishi maisha yenye furaha katika familia kulingana na mpango wa Mungu kwa familia. Usiwache ndoa yako isambaratike. Tutembelee Christian Family Formation Center hapa mjini Nakuru, Section 58, opposite Emma Preparatory School. Awasiliana nasi kupitia 0725956601. Christian Family Formation Center God's Family kilikuwa kikao kizuri cha wanandoa kukutana na kuongea kuhusu mpango wa Mungu kwa wili wa ndoa. Mpango wa Mungu kwa wili wa ndoa ni Mungu mwenyewe aliwaanzisha. Na akasema mtu ataondoka, tambatana na mke wake na watakuwa mwili mmoja. Na alichounganisha Mungu binadamu wasi. Asitenganishe. Kaka hii hiki tunajitayarisha au kufungua rasmi leo ili tu, tuanze kazi tumekuwa kazini kwa muda mrefu lakini sasa tumesema nyumba hizi ambao ni nyumba ya ya, ya tuifanye tui kuwa mahali pa kufundisha kwa sababu ndoa nyingi ziko na shida kubwa sana tunanyonyo ndoa mambo ya ndoa haijui shida za ndoa hazijui hazijui tajiri maskini mtu aliyesoma ambaye hakusoma hazijui kama uki, kama una una una, una vunja, mambo ya haya ndoa e, ina changamoto kila mtu anapata changamoto tumeona watu wengi wakihangaika sana mashinda mengi kwa ajili ya ndoa zao ku, kukosa kusimama imara lakini kwa sasa tuna namna ya kuweza ku, ku, kuleta pa familia pamoja na kuweza kuwafundisha mpango huu na tumepitia kwa wengi na ambao wamefaidika wame wana ushuhuda wanasema kwamba tangu wapata mafundisho haya mambo yao inakwenda vizuri tumefundisha machifu tumefundisha watu wa serikali na mara wakipisha kutoka hapa kwa kozi hizi za, za ndoa wanasema kwamba kazi zao za ku, za ku kwa kazi imekuwa rahisi kukutana na wananchi na kuwaeleza kuhusu makezi ya, ya bibi na bwana kwa hivyo na ndaka kuchukua nafasi hii kusema kwamba e, kuomba e, watu ambao wana the people of goodwill ambao wanaweza kusaidia mambo haya ya, ya familia kuweza kuwafundisha tunaomba waje tuwe tufanye kazi pamoja na kueneza habari hii kwa watu wengine kwa sababu ile kitu kinafanya sana sana kutodoa kuvunjika ni kwamba hakuna watu ambao wanashughulika na kuwafundisha wana, watu wa ndoa. Watu wa ndoa ni wana, wanashika mambo yale, wanafikiri lile ya kulidhi. Lakini kuna ndoa aina mbili, kuna ndoa ya kidunia na ndoa ya Kikristo. Ndoa ya Kikristo inaongozwa na upendo na ndoa ya kidunia inaongozwa na sheria. Kwa hivyo tunachanganya mambo haya mawili. Kitambo tulikuwa tukisema kwamba wazee wanaachwa ku kuwasaidia eh, familia zao lakini sasa tuna familia ambazo hazina 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 baba. Kwa hivyo ile 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 ubaba umekosa katika familia. Na ubaba ukikosa katika familia hakuna familia inasimama vizuri. Kwa hivyo sasa siku hizi tuna tuna wale role model wetu ambao watu wana wanachukua nafasi hii ku, kuwafundisha. Ni wakina mama. Pengine mama alipata watoto ni single mother na hakuweza kupata bwana na ana watoto. Familia ile isipokuwa na bibi na bwana ina haiwezi kusimama vizuri haina watu wa kwa 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 shauri vizuri ile ile father figure is not there so wanaendelea na shida hizi kukosa father figure kwa hivyo ndoa ile i mean watoto wale wanakuwa na wanaoana na wanakuwa hawana mtu wa kuwaelekeza kwa hivyo sisi hapa tunajaribu kuwa kuleta pamoja na kuwaelekeza na kuwasaidia kusimama katika ndoa ya Kikristo nafikiri E, kama serikali ingejua kwamba 
au watu wengine wote wangejua kwamba kuwa na na, na serikali nzuri ni kuwa na familia nzuri kuwa na familia nzuri ni kuwa na kanisa nzuri kwa hivyo bila familia kusimama imara mambo mengine yote haiwezi kusimama imara kwa hivyo tunasema e, kiini hiki au upendo huu ambao Mungu ameweka katika familia ni wa maana sana usichukuliwe ofi ofi kwa sababu tunasema biblia inatuambia kwamba ndoa iheshimiwe na kila mtu kusoma waibrania 13 mstari wa 5 inasema ndoa isiheshimiwe na kila mtu kwa sababu isipoheshimiwa ina ile repercussion ina ile ma, ma, ma changamoto katika mambo haya kwa hivyo nataka kusema kwamba eh, watu ambao kama pengine ungeweza kuja hapa kufundishwa pengine ungeweza kusaidia mtu mwingine unakuja unamulipia pesa kidogo ili afundishwe ili tubadilishe Kenya iwe mahali pazuri pa kuishi unaona kutu siku hizi ukiingia katika ofisi yoyote utakuta secretary secretary yako peke yake au mwenye ofisi yuko ndani lakini kwa sababu walikosana na bibi wake anafanya watu wakae wa, wa kwenye raini nje na pale ndani hana mtu anasema nyinyi ngojeni kumbe ni ile shida ambao alitoka naye nyumbani anashindwa na kusuluhisha kenda barabarani pia unakuta watu mkipitana ukifanya kosa kidogo unaona anakutusi anakufanya nini na kumbe ni ile hasira ametoa nyumbani analeta barabara kwa hivyo tumeleta kila kitu e, shida nyingi ambazo tuko nazo zimeletwa na familia tukiweza kuangalia mambo ya familia peke yake kila kitu kingine kitakuwa kizuri tunaomba hawa, hata serikali itu i, isaidie e, mambo haya ya mafundisho ili tuweze kufikia watu wengi ili Kenya yetu iwe mahali pazuri pa kuisha asante sana